Hold on, let's, you know what? I'm gonna leave the tripod as is. I'm gonna stand back here because of the glare and my light and my light, my uh, my glasses. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys what just happened. Plus you guys, you know, I'm gonna get to it, I'm gonna get to it. So y'all, my T-Mobile account has just been tweaking, right? And either way, we gotta call customer service, but the account isn't my mom's name because I've had this account since, well, she's had this account since I was in high school, right? Um, anyway. The account is under my mom's name, whole nine, right? So, um, you know, my mom had to call, but she has to call for my phone number, right? So, my mom got this late, this girl, right? I want to say her name, but I don't want to say it. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to get her in trouble, right? So, anyway, my mom got this girl, and I, like, my mom, I had just got done telling her, like, she was like, and I would call them and tell them that I did, da, 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 like with an attitude. And y'all know I worked in customer service, if you didn't know that, I worked in customer service. And I said, and my mom, like, she was like, and she said it with an attitude, she was like, and I would tell them, do some, some, some. I said, and that's why people don't help you. I said, because the moment someone gives me attitude on the phone, I don't want to help you anymore. Because it's just like, why are you being rude? You know, like, my job is literally to assist you. And you're making your life hard and my life harder, you know, and I'm just trying to assist you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just here to help and you're making that really hard. So I told her, I was like, you know, you should try being a little nicer and a little more patient with them. You know, they're going to be more willing to help you. Otherwise, they're going to, when they hang up, they're going to be like, bro, they were so rude. <laughs> and every time your name pops across the screen, they're going to be like, ah, again, you know, like, so this is your, your, your reminder to just be kind you know it costs nothing to be kind on the phone in person on social media whatever the case might be just be kind right so long story short my mom gets on the phone with the girl right and she gets this girl and she asked her she was like my the lady asked she was like you know like how's your day going and she, my mom was like you know my day is going good how about yours and she said honestly my day is going good She's like, it's going better because you're the first person that asked me how my day was going today. But that's thing again, it costs nothing to be kind, right? So she says, you're the first person that asked me about my day. And I said, see mom, see what happens. And I came upstairs for something. I don't remember what I came upstairs for, but I was upstairs for maybe like 20, maybe like a minute or two. So my mom had to leave. And so she like gave me, or like I said, she called on my phone. So she gave me my phone, ooh. She gave me my phone and she was like, Destiny, she's notating the account. You know, you just gotta wrap up the call. And I said, thank God people say we sound the same on the phone. And she was like, yeah, I guess. So she gave me the phone, right? And I'm talking to the girl. And she was, I don't know what my mom told this lady when I came up the stairs, but she was just like, oh, Tamika, like, what's your favorite? Cause that's my mom's name, God, no. She's like, what's your favorite gospel song? And I don't know my mom's favorite gospel song, but I just said Cain, like blessed by Cain, uh, cause my mom really likes that song. And like I said, my mom's not a music fanatic. So I was just like, okay. And I just told the girl, I wasn't, <sighs> that's not straight, <laughs> but I wasn't thinking nothing of it, right? And then she goes, okay, like, I know this might be a little like unorthodox, but like, I'm not familiar with the song. Do you mind singing a little bit of it? And I was like, okay, so I sing it. I'm so blessed, I'm so blessed, got this. Anyway, I sang the song, right? And she was like, oh my God, like I absolutely love that song. I'm gonna, she's like, I'm gonna do some more research, right? So she just started talking to me and then she tells me, um, she was like, you know, and I know this is really unorthodox. She was like, but I'm gonna ask you something else. She was like, what's your favorite? And I'm telling y'all before I tell my mom, she was like, what's your favorite Bible verse? And right now, my go-to verse is Isaiah 38 and 5. It says, I've heard thy prayer. I've seen thy tears. Behold. <laughs> behold. Behold, right? And so I told her that, and I said, it just reminds me that we have a God that hears, we have a God that sees, and we have a God that answers. And she was like, you know, that really just encouraged me. She was like, I'm not super familiar with that verse, but I'm going to make myself familiar. She was like, and mind you, she thinks she's talking to my mom. So she's like, yeah, Tamika, like that was so good. That's so great. So she gave me, she told me her favorite verses. She was like, I have like three favorite verses. And she told me to like that self in the Lord, um, Jeremiah 29 and 11. And there's another scripture. I can't think of it. But 
she was like yeah those are my three favorite scriptures she was like and they really she was like they always bring me comfort and joy just in the word by like journaling and everything she was like so how do you study and I was like I don't know how my mom was study but I do my mom takes notes and then she like re-listens to the things sometimes right the stream sometimes but she's like my mom's a note taker right and I told she was like yeah I journal and I diary or whatever and I told her I was like well, like I said I'm trying to be my mom so I was like yeah my daughter you know she journals and she does stuff like that too because I'm talking about myself I do journal right and she was like oh my god like how old is your daughter and I was like you know she's 21 and she was like oh, I'm a little older than her but that doesn't matter she was like that just brought me so much comfort she was like it really just encouraged me and it really just gives me a peace of mind knowing you know that the god i serve someone else serves him too and i was just like period sis so shout out to you i don't want to put your name out there because i don't want to get you in trouble but shout out to you and again just uh, she really encouraged me y'all like and when i say i don't know what my mama told that girl yeah anyway i uh, back to what i was saying I don't know what my mom told her, but I hope and I pray to God that she was encouraged because oh, I'm looking for this plane to hold her and it's on my wrist. Anyway, I don't know what my mom told her, but shout out to her. We praying for you, girl. I got off the phone and I started praying for you. I said, you know, I'm going to just say it right now. I said, Lord, whatever she's going through, remind her that you're the comforter of God. And remind her that, you know, you have people everywhere. You know, she, she's never alone. And I said, Lord, let her find my channel. So the day you find this channel, do you me? But I told her, I said, Lord, I said, let her find the channel so we can get connected. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I just, I love meeting, like, young women and young people. I love meeting young women, too, but young people in the world. So, I said, Lord, let her find the channel so, you know, she can be encouraged and let her know that we love her. So, girl, I don't know you, but you my friend. Hey, friend. <laughs> hey, friend. And sorry to... You know spoil it but you were talking to me towards the end not my mom she she had to go she had to go to prayer there's not gonna be a meeting tonight yeah my mom had to go to prayer her and my dad went to prayer so yeah um and destiny why aren't you at prayer you might ask first off you're nosy second off i'm getting ready to tell you um so for amari's birthday gift a while back, I went to a candlelit concert and I went by myself, you know, because I'm, I don't know if you guys know, but I try to do like one thing once a month on my own, like just to get myself out of my comfort zone. And whether that be a business meeting or whatever the case might be, I try to go by myself. That way I can get comfortable with like being on my own because there's no telling. You know, the desire is to be married and to have somebody, but there's no telling if you're, you know, I know what the Lord said, but you know, in the time being, I still have to be okay with being by myself. So that's a long story short, but I try to, again, I try to make myself uncomfortable by like making myself go to public put things by myself. And so I've always wanted to go to a candlelit concert and I went right i bought my ticket and i went and i didn't have the greatest experience um primarily because i brought i bought a ticket like i bought one of the cheapest tickets right so i sat towards the back um it was okay but i'm pretty sure i had like a racist encounter when i was there um my memory isn't the best so i'm pretty sure that that's why i really didn't enjoy my experience um that and i really just felt Okay, I remember. It's all coming back to me. I really also felt alone because it's like everybody's coming. Like, majority of the people that were there, like, yes, there was people with families, but majority of the people that were there were couples. So, I kind of just felt like I was like, I wasn't supposed to be there. But let me tell y'all, I paid my money and I'm going to be there. And somebody else made it seem like, like we didn't pay the same amount of money. You know, we're sitting in the same section. You're literally sitting right next to me. And she basically, her and her family, they try to make it seem like I shouldn't be there. Like, they have their kids, too, and their daughter was sitting next to me. And they were like, get back over here. Where is she going to go? Her seat is right here. I'm black. I'm kind of thick. But, you know, I'm thick like a teddy bear. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going. What am I going to do? You know what I'm saying? I spent my money to be here just like you did. And, and now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, that's actually what happened. And it really, like, put a bad taste in my mouth. So, anyway... I had posted on my story that I went, 
all in all, like it was a really nice experience. And I had always told myself that I would go back. So I had posted on my story. Amari slid up on my story. It was my cousin, if y'all didn't know. Um, Amari slid up on my story and she was like, oh my God, Destiny, like you're always going to stuff and you're not telling anybody. She said, I wanted to go, but um, I couldn't find anybody to go with. I didn't think anybody was gonna wanna go. And I was like, honestly, Amari says that every time that I go to do something, she'd be like, why you didn't tell nobody, basically. Like, Amari, first off, mind your business. Like, and remember who you're talking to, right? No, I'm playing. But um, she had told me that she wanted to go. So for her birthday, our birthdays are four and a half days apart. She will not let me forget it for the rest of my life. But who graduated first, though? Me. Anyway, and Amari even had the opportunity to graduate before me, asking me if she did. She didn't. Anyway, um, yes. So for her birthday, I got us tickets to go to the Candlelight concert. Go ahead and tell oh. you. Oh, you telling me right now? Didn't you just tell me to tell you? <laughs> My head thing is I should not do Okay. Together. You know the Candlelight concert? Yeah! Oh my god, that's because I was just telling Alexis all the way back or something that, that I wanted to go to that. Oh, oh that's so nice! Well, that's Thank you guys! Because I kind of need you to dress her program. Yeah! yeah. Oh, she, thank you. She's taking her to the candlelight. To the candlelight. Time. I literally, when I tell you, I was just saying that yes, a couple days you ago that I wanted to go. And every time I see her Instagram, I'm like, I need you. That's why I was like, pick a date. She wanted to wait until her semester was over, which rightfully so. I don't. What is, what is this saying? Like, I agree. Whatever. I agree with her decision to wait until the end of the semester. So. The end of the semester is upon us. I need to go find a scarf before my flyaways start flying. Um, but yeah, it's the end of the semester. So I'm really pigmented, so I'm gonna say that. So yeah, today, uh, me and Amari are going to the Candlelit concert, which is why I had to redo my hair. I look like an utter bum today. <laughs> I woke up this morning and I was not feeling it. So I'm gonna take a shower. I had to slick my hair back. My hair has been in a slick back for like three days. But the fact that y'all be getting off slick backs, like y'all be doing them, and y'all don't have to redo them every day, y'all need to let me know what y'all doing. And I don't use this got to be often, but I'm gonna use it. But yeah. Uh, we're going to the Candlelit concert, so I'm finna, I'm finna hop in the shower. I still don't know if I wanna go like dressy. Even though I know I'm gonna end up dressing up, I just like low key don't want to, but I know I'm gonna end up dressing up. So, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go to the Candlelit concert. We're gonna have fun. And, but the thing is, it's at 8:45, and I don't know if y'all know, but I'm kind of an old woman at heart, and I like to be at home. <laughs> I like to be at home at this time in my life. But you know, for Amari, see, that's what I'm talking about. I was really March. I'm sorry that y'all just had to sit there and watch that. But anyway, I'm gonna hop in the shower for like the 12th time. I'm gonna hop in the shower and hopefully find something to wear, okay? Hi guys, I really missed y'all. Have y'all missed me? Okay, bye. Okay, so I'm out of the shower and I actually settled on this dress from Minkus, Minkus, Minkus. I've worn this dress at least four times in my life. Maybe a little more than that. Um, fun fact, when I went to the concert by myself, I can't do it anymore because I cut my nails. <gasps> oh, it's a very, very, very sad Sunday, but they kept chipping, so I just went ahead and cut them all. But anyway, what, did I, what was I saying? They're both good personally. Maura says she liked the other outfit better. I didn't like that outfit. It wasn't cute. I'll show y'all. It wasn't. It was definitely something I came up with in my head. Um, it wasn't cute to me. I would probably wear it to work just for fun, but no. Now I do have a black dress. I can always put on black, but that's my problem is I always put on black, so. For the girlies who have this dress, what shoes do y'all be wearing? 
Cause I have this really ugly pair of brown shoes that I wear with this if I'm wearing it to work. But I have cream colored heels in the trunk of my car. And I went to go get them, but I left my keys upstairs. Pure destiny fashion. It wouldn't be me if I didn't do something dumb like that. So anyway, yeah. Y'all let me know to the girl used to have this dress. Let me know what type of shoes y'all be wearing with it. Because I want to know. And I always see from like the neck up. But I want to see from the neck down. You know, I want to see the body body. And I know Shein has a, um, they have a dupe of this dress. Which I'm really mad because I bought it in full price from Minkas. And then Shein went and created it. And I was like, if I would have waited two weeks. <laughs> oh, if only I had waited two weeks. But anyway. Anyway. Not that y'all needed my dress review. I like the dress. I always get compliments in the dress. So I say get it, wear it. I don't care how hot you look to other people. And I mean like in the material because it's very thick. But do the thing. Okay, do the thing. I really, really love how cream and like green complement each other. So anyway. Yeah, I'm finna finish my hair. I don't know what time it is, which is actually a really bad. See, I told you my flyaways was gonna fly away. Um, yeah, like I was saying, I don't know what time it is, which is actually a really bad sign. <laughs> because knowing me, I will wait until the absolute utter last minute. I'll lay down, I'll watch TV. I'll do everything but what I'm supposed to be doing. And I cannot find my toothbrush that I use to do my edges. So y'all tell me what's crazy. I can, okay, this is my backup, 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 backup edge control brush. Um, and you know, honestly, they tell you that they don't want you to record at these concerts. So you see like a lot of people like post about them, but you don't see like, you really don't see clips or anything, but that's because they ask that you don't record. And at the, the last, I told you I went before, right? So at the last one that I went to, there was this one guy who kept recording with his flash on, and, you know, all the people who don't look like me, they were mad because they're like, they said don't record. <laughs> It was so funny. And he had his flash on. <laughs> I mean, if you record, they're not going to do anything. But they do ask that you, you know, that you don't record. Um, and then they say if you're going to sneak and record to cut the flash off. They do tell you that, though. Um, but it was the fact that bro was just like, forget all y'all. I'm cutting this flash off. And he walked, like, towards the front. of. <laughs> it was hilarious. But this concert is actually so pretty you guys it's one of my like i love lights and so to see like hung lights like y'all saw i don't know if i recorded it but last year when we did like the lanterns in the water and it was like tangled like oh my god it was so cute but i want to go to the one in texas where they put the lanterns in the sky like ugh, i want to do it so bad but they don't do it here in kansas so i'm gonna have to drive to texas to do it um but i want to do that and yes y'all see me pulling this hair but clearly, it's because it's not going into this bun. Um, anyway, mind your business. But yeah, um, this they line the they line the hall with candles, and it's just in. It's at like a secret location. It's not really a secret once you buy the ticket, but when you're buying a ticket, it's like a secret location, and then they reveal the location. And let's just say. I might need to get engaged here because <laughs> I love orchestras. I used to be in the orchestra. I used to play the viola. Yep. If y'all didn't know, now you know. Yeah. I definitely used to be in the viola. I could be in the viola. I used to be in the orchestra. The cello is, you know, one of my favorite orchestra instruments. So if you didn't know, y'all didn't think my hair was going to curl, did you? Did you? I know who's cute. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Since you know everything. <laughs> no! 
to me up. Anyway, I need to go find these heels because I have no idea where they're at. Otherwise, my outfit is screwed. And y'all know, to my girlies, if you know, you know. This scarf don't come off until either you're in the building or you're sitting in the car outside of the building. If you know, you know. If don't, if you don't, I don't know what to tell you. But I'm so excited to like get this out to you guys. I'm geeked. So like, let's go. It's not really a date, but y'all know me. One thing about me is I'm a troll, y'all. So, and y'all know I'm getting a lot of flowers. Like I've been getting flowers like once a week, right? from like various things and like all I love I have realized like getting these flowers because it's like my favorite flower is white roses for those of you who don't know I this is no shade to people who have got me flowers either I love white roses I love red but my preference is white right I love the white roses they're like my favorite but I love all flowers I've been getting daisies I've been getting lilies i've been getting like random bouquets with a couple roses and sunflowers like i i love all flowers so i appreciate all of them because somebody asked me the other day they were like what is your favorite flower and i was like white roses if y'all need to know my favorite color it's turquoise i also love green gray burgundy um black of course but um and i love like multiple shades of brown so I'm a neutral girly for the most part. I'm very much minimalistic. My house gonna have them. <laughs> My house is gonna be very modern, gray, white, maybe brown, but then, mm, no brown walls. We're done with that. That era's over. But I'm very much like that girl. So I always been that girl, period. But yeah um i love all flowers but somebody did ask me what's my favorite flower it's a white rose my favorite color turquoise uh if you need hints my bible is teal my journal is i have two journals they're turquoise my room used to be gray white and turquoise but i took all the turquoise out because i want to change my room but i don't know what i want to do to it yet um and i'm starting to like green more hence my phone case i used to have a watch band that was green uh before i switch watches um yeah uh yeah a little more about me that you didn't know so y'all learned my favorite color y'all love my favorite flower y'all love my favorite flower. y'all learned my favorite flower and you guys learned i used to be in the orchestra get to know me not that this is a get to know me but get to know me better uh, let me say it's key or who has a song about getting to know you better no the song just left my head. Never mind, forget it. And I don't understand that's why you're in control. It's what I give. Do you believe in love? You love me. It couldn't be me loving me. Please be quiet. We know we're standing on the word of God. Amen. Um, yeah, so I'm here, guys. Um, oh, speaking of, let me take some more and tell her be like, I'm parked in the handicap. Yeah, I'm okay. And right when I was texting her, she gonna text me, ask me, talking about something. I told her, I, I already told her that I was outside and she talking about something where. I forgot that there was a show before this, but I'm pretty sure I heard the show. So I was like, I don't want to see the same show again. So that's why I had to pick this show. So, um, yeah, that's a wagon here. My mom wants a wagon here, y'all. Look at that. Look at the wagon here. 
Thank you. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> she looks so cute though. Period hair. Period fit. Period. Period. What's Period. Why is there so many people outside my car? I knew you wanted to match me. Bye. <laughs> that is not. That's Ooh, cold definitely cold. not what happened. Oh, is this your first time? Yes, yeah. Uh, and y'all thought I was playing, talking about these uh, these Crocs, but I was not playing. I need to find a new thing. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. But I want to know why there's so you many people in my, yeah, my car. Oh, it don't even. Okay, I don't no, break it. it. It don't go all the way down. All right. All right. Because I, I just took my phone off of the car. So I don't even know. It's fine though. It'll it's cute. Out. Thank you. You left your hair up all day for this? No, I just did my hair. Started, I just started my hair like. <laughs> My hair was in a hair wrap again today. I can only imagine. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So I'm pretty sure there was a show before this, but yeah. I think I saw this show and I was like, I don't want to watch the same show. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They left. They were leave people leaving. Yeah. Because somebody just had to drive themselves. You didn't offer to drive. That's because you texted me talking about some. What time do I need to be there? And I said, oh. <laughs> okay. Because I was going to be nice. And I was going to be like, oh, Mari, like, we should go get food. I was like, no, I can I pick you up. I was thinking that too. But I was going to ask you that. But I was like, I just kind of ate. Oh but then by the time it was like time to actually go, I was like, wait a minute. I was going to. I was going, why are you dying, you girl? <laughs> Not no more. Because she was like, what I'm gonna show y'all the text. She said, "What time do I need to? Uh, what time does it start and where?" And I was like, "Isn't the point of me?" I uh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I was like, "Oh no." Mm -hmm. He was like, "What?" I was completely up for beer. When I was picking my outfit, and I didn't even know what I was gonna wear or what I was gonna do my hair. Alexa was like, what's the vision? I was like, there is no vision. I you have didn't no have a vision? No. Amari <laughs> is the definition of a Pinterest board. If y'all didn't know, everything I she does. I haven't really been thinking about it till this week. Wow. Until, because, well, I had it in my calendar, like, wow. planned out. But, like, I hate But had this been something she planned. <laughs> mm. I'm so excited. How are you now? <laughs> hmm. I bet I you are. listening to Queen in the car. Cause it's a queen. So you can be like, oh, I know the song. Omari, that's so bad. So I can remember. Actually, I know a lot of the songs. I didn't realize that they're really popular songs. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's insane. Are we gonna take pictures? Do you want to? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where are you taking pictures? I don't know. There was some stairs on the side. So over here. Whoa, why are we so Hold close? on, do this one. Let me Which do this one? again because I'm squinting in all these. Is that. Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. The guy, there's a guy over there. He said, the entrance is Aww. over there. The more they left. Okay. Now she wanted. <laughs> that's, what, that's what she really wanted. She really just wanted to walk over there. Got me walking in these heels. That's the only reason she wanted to get here early. Was so she could get these doggone pictures. Not because she wanted to spend time with me, but because if that's the case, she should have told me to park over here by the stairs. I parked over there. But I didn't Why? Because all of these were full. Oh. I got here. Yeah, I forgot to tell her there was another show. Oh. Huh? Okay, you know what? Wait till we get back. Oh, okay. Okay. Period. Definitely was not in frame at all, but. Oh my. We are right by. Oh, 
Sorry, y'all know I'm not the YouTuber here. We're right by the ambiance. It's very pretty in here. Even though I'm definitely not supposed to be recording, she told me to keep the camera low. I'm not keeping no, the No, you low. can now, but like when you're not supposed to record oh, during the thing. During it? Yeah, that's why you see a lot of people who be like, oh, I went, but you don't see a lot of footage because oh. you're not supposed to record. Yeah. But oh. somebody the last time, I was telling them earlier, somebody did last time, and they tell you if you're going to record, cut the flash off. Bro walked, all, we was in the back. He walked mm -hmm. all the way up here with the flash on. And everybody is so mad at him. Do you want a drink? Why did I mind? Okay, here, 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 here. Is it just gonna come on? No, I'm gonna cut it on. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, so use this button. <laughs> go, go, go. Here. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just press here, this button. Here. This one. Wait. Oh my god. Wait. What's the angle? This way? No. Yeah, here? Cut the light on. I was making sure it was right first. Ready? <laughs> oh, I turned it off. Just you let go? The same way. <laughs> I turned it on. Nothing happened. No, you didn't. I pressed it. Nothing happened. That was it. <laughs> you turn it off. Turn it off. How do you turn it off? <laughs> that better be a good picture. <laughs> I can feel that. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> I told you I'm trying to do better at like forgetting that other people are here. I don't yeah. care. But it's kind of cute. Yeah. It is. <laughs> now imagine if we didn't have this life. Look at this. She'll insert it here. Especially by the two people sitting next to us, because they was like, oh my god, that's a thing? Like, yes, baby. Lights are a thing. You'd be like, yeah, just for my channel, I have 155,000 subscribers. They're like, Gen Z. These Gen Z Subscribe to the channel. <clears throat> Shameless plug. Okay, bye guys. When they played We Are The Champions, my third grade heart was like, oh my god. Because that's the song we sang before we did the state assessments. Oh, really? Yeah, so that's how I know that song. And it's forever engraved in my brain. <laughs> Miss O'Connor, she's now Mrs. Bat, but she didn't play that, not singing that song. And she was like, we're the champions. You're going to crush the state assessments. So the nostalgia is like so real. It was so cool. And then Mari didn't know the words. I knew most of the words. Never going to sing by her again. Thank you. All right, I don't know where your car is at. Okay, go to the car bay. Bless you. 
So the concert is over, and let me just say, like I said, when they started playing, we are the champions. I was like, can nobody tell me nothing? We are the champions, my friend. And when they played another one by Sadice, it was like, dun 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 dun. They killed that. They killed that. They killed that. And again. Third grade me was excited. So Mrs. Bat, she's not, well, yeah, she's Mrs. Bat now. She was Miss O'Connor. If you're watching this, just know that it's forever engraved in my brain. But I am probably gonna end up taking myself to McDonald's because it's 9.53 and nothing is really open past 10 here in Kansas. So, hold on. I'm really acting like I don't have a light. So, oh no, that didn't do anything. There we go. Um. Thank you all so much for watching thus far. Thank you for tuning in with me. And to Amari, thank you for going with me. Um, it was fun. It was nice. I'd do it again. Don't tell her I said that. But, yep, I'm finna go feed my big back. <laughs> and um, go home because I have to go to work in the morning. Praise the good Lord. Oh, and this lady just came up to me. She just told me, she said, I just want you to know that I am such a big fan of what you were just doing in there. She's like, I literally looked over for two seconds and I was like, OMG, yes, girl. Like, she's like, I literally love you. I don't know you. And so to her, shout out to you. Love you. I told her, I said the third grader and me was like geeking. And she was like, I bet. So, so, so. You have a great night, sweetie. I was like, you too. Love y'all. I love meeting people I don't know. It's so fun. It's so exciting. And like, low-key, it's very like nerve-wracking, but I absolutely love meeting people that I don't know. So anyway, uh, looks like the traffic has died down a little bit. So again, I'm going to take my big back home and get some food. Um, but, oh wait, 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 I'm tweaking. Y'all come do the outro with me. It's been that long that I forgot my own exit. Ready? One, two, right, one, two, three, do, 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 do,